it would be difficult to say exactly how much influence Star Wars has had on my songwriting. Um, simply because I grew up interested in space. Don't forget we put a man on the moon in 1969. We had 2001 A Space Odyssey. And I grew up with all the Jerry Anderson Space Center puppet programs. Um, so I guess that by the times, and of course there was Star Trek, and I guess by the time that Star Wars came out and my own involvement in it, we'd also had the glam rock thing, which of itself may not sound directly relevant, but David Bowie's Ziggy Stardust was still a spaceman who travelled to Earth. And with Star Wars, the, the reason you wrote Starfighters Hit Zero? Starfighters Hit Zero is not actually about Star Wars and is not totally influenced by Star Wars. It's what well, is certainly true to say that my involvement in both The Empire Strikes Back and The Return of the Jedi definitely was a factor in, in the writing of the song. There were other things involved as well. Like what? Um, at around that time, you know, you go into a theatre bar and you find a space invaders machine. Yeah, I remember that. It was the, uh, there was the, uh, the Commodore 64 and the Spectrum, the ZX81, the, the Yorick and whatever else. There were a load of home computers that uh, started off with Space Invader type games and Star Wars and Star Wars related things like, I don't know, Galaxians and all this sort of stuff. Um, so those things would have preyed on, would have preyed on my mind, if I remember rightly. And the other thing was, of course, all these flight simulations that started in the Interesting, wouldn't it? Is, is, bit, is there going to be a time in the not too distant future when it is a bit like the sort of Star Wars, Star Trek, uh, Battlestar Galactic landscape, when starfighters do run attacking things? And we also had around that time, if I remember right, 1979 it was. I think it was October 1979. There was a, and again, this is kind of like the War Games thing. There was a um, uh, Americans, if I remember rightly, they had a an incident with one of their simulation, computer simulation exercises, part of the defence. And I think it was seven minutes, because I did write a song at that time, I think it was seven minutes when the, um, the Russians actually believed that America was going to nuke them all. Really? Them, nuke them all, firing weapons or something, before it was all resolved. <laughs> I've always had these ideas, it was like um, Zero being one person on their own against these, all these starfighters out of nowhere, attacking this poor one little tiny spacecraft. And the title thing, Starfighters Hit Zero. The idea of alien speaking back was just came into my head, and when we, we initially performed it, when, when Chris Andy and I, myself and, and the others initially performed it, uh, we, 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 we tried it with putting um, Drunken Sailor at the end of it, just because, see, to D minor was the progression for a drunken sailor, and we, we played around with that. So I can't honestly say that all that, that Star Wars of itself was was the only factor. There were a number of factors. I don't think I, I don't remember standing on the set of the Carbon Chamber thinking I must write a song about this. Um, or you know, when I was filming Corporal Durdrum, I don't think I went around. Oh gosh, this is an interesting idea. Um, let's make a song about it. Didn't quite happen that way. Um, something I have found intriguing, looking back on those films after 30 years and following my involvement, peripherally at least, on the convention circuit, is how those characters might have aged in 30 years, how their lives might have changed, and to some extent that has had an impact on my songwriting. Um, am I all that is left of an empire? Is of course a Star Wars song. It's uh, it could be about an, uh, any kind of soldier, but it is directly linked to Star Wars. But that's not influenced by. That's directly linked to my experience in Star Wars. And I, you know, I wondered what it might be like to be a little bit like a Roman soldier, being a retired storm stormtrooper. How would you behave? You know, would you try and find yourself a woman? Would she be freaked out when you took your mask off? Those kind of things. It's not. It's not as comic as it initially appears. I, I shot a Jedi. Well, that is meant to be funny. I think. <laughs> I hope it is. It's uh, a one-joke song, really. Yeah. All these stormtroopers going around uh, attempting to, to kill Jedi's and can't do it when they've got they've got guns. 
and Jedi's have got sabers. It doesn't seem logical to me.